Magic presents Hollywood Snakes. What's this anyway? Another one of your little furry animals? In the movie, it doesn't take long for the mamba to strike its first victim. I can't breathe! Death by mamba is not a pretty sight. Its venom attacks the nervous system, instantly causing shock, profuse sweating, cramps throughout the body, swelling of the lips, and paralysis of the throat. The black mamba is widely considered the most dangerous snake in the world. It will attack without provocation and can strike from a distance of 15 feet in less than one second. 403, take two. Action! So when filmmakers embarked on production of the 1982 thriller Venom, which tells the story of a black mamba loose in a house, one wouldn't have expected them to use a real one. Well, they didn't use one. They used six. In retrospect, it was a very stupid thing we did. But unfortunately, nothing looks like the black mamba. And unfortunately, uh, we couldn't build one that would do the things that a live snake could do. And at all times, an ambulance and medical team armed with anti-venom stood by in case anyone was bitten. But even if a victim were to be injected immediately, the chances of survival were only 50-50. It was a terrifying, vicious, absolutely uncontrollable creature. I don't know why it's alive, why God put it there. The snakes did their acting from behind plexiglass sheets, which divided them from the camera, cast, and crew. Ball's methods for handling the snakes were captured in these home movies, the only behind-the-scenes footage shot on Venom. I had tubes that um, I could run the snake through the tube with about two, three foot, foot of snake out at one end and hold it onto the tail at the other end so he couldn't reach me. The delicate process of tubing a black mamba was demonstrated for our cameras by keepers at reptile gardens in Rapid City, South Dakota, which exhibits the largest collection of reptiles in the world and is one of just a handful of locations where black mambas can be seen. Immobilizing the mamba in a tube not only assured safety, but agitated the snake producing just the right look for angry close-ups. Oliver Reed, who was a bad guy in this film, was shot and was lying in a cellar. And he realizes that the snake is at the other end of the room, coming towards him. And the snake crawled up his pants leg. A dummy stood in for Oliver Reed during filming of the close-ups. Even knowing how it was done, it was, it was terrifying. Magic presents Hollywood Snakes. <laughs>